Hi guys! Today we're going to take you through some of the exciting new features that we've introduced to the iPhone app in our MultiVisit release. MultiVisit gives you greater flexibility and accuracy by allowing you to create multiple time slots, called visits, within a single job. Let's see how this works on the app. When you first launch the app, you will see the new schedule page. The schedule page is like your own GeoOp calendar right on your phone. It shows you all of your scheduled visits so that you know exactly where you need to be and when. Each visit is displayed with the start and end time, the title of the job it belongs to, and the location of the job. You can also see your visit labels, which will help you easily identify different visits. The schedule page has various filters available. If you'd like to see what unassigned visits are available, you can choose to view the unassigned schedule. Now you're looking at a list of all the visits that are currently unassigned. If you'd like to see past visits or visits assigned to other people, you can also do this from the filter page. Now let's look at what happens when you tap on a visit in your schedule. Tapping on a visit opens the job that that visit belongs to. So if I click on this visit, you can see that I'm now on the job detail page. It should look familiar as it hasn't changed much. We can see all the job information, client address, job title, etc. We also have the same tabs along the top that allow you to update the job status and create charges and notes. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see that we've added in a list of all the visits for this job, so you can easily see what work is being done and when. If you find that you cannot do a visit that you have been assigned to, you can easily unassign yourself from the visit by tapping on it and tapping Unassign Me. Similarly, if you have some free time and want to pick up an unassigned visit, tapping on it will allow you to assign yourself to that visit. This visit will now appear in your schedule so that you can keep track easily of your day's work. Another new feature we've introduced is unscheduled jobs. An unscheduled job is a job that does not yet have any visits attached to it. You can view unscheduled jobs by going to your job list and changing the filter to unscheduled. Unscheduled jobs are great for creating a record for a new job, even before you know when the work will be done. You can create these jobs straight from your mobile phone, just like you do now. On the Add Job tab, you can fill in all the details for your job, such as job title, client, location, etc. Once you've created your job, tap Next and that's it. You've now created an unscheduled job. You can choose whether to add visits to it now or leave it unscheduled until a later date. Let's add a visit now. To create a visit, we need to choose when the work will be done, add some details about what the work is, and choose someone to assign to the visit. As you'll see, you can choose to assign the visit to yourself, to someone else, or leave it unassigned. If you choose to assign it to someone else, you can pick someone from the field. Let's leave it on Assign to Me for now and tap Done. You've created a visit for your job. Let's go back to the schedule. You can see the visit we just created is showing in your scheduler here. Tapping on it takes you to your new job. If you'd like to edit your job or edit the visits, you need to tap Edit in the top corner. Now you can edit all of the job information. To edit a visit, tap on it, and you can change the details to whatever you like. Tap Save, and tap Save to save your job, and you're done.